Hello my strong strong friends and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. My name is Meg Squats. I only have 5 minutes to explain something so I'm gonna just get right to it. Like the video, subscribe, I don't know, comment down below. Okay, we don't have much time. This video is gonna be all about hypertrophy for power lifters and why I'm so passionate about it. I think this video does go hand in hand with a video that I did recently, another five minute Friday, all about competition frequency and kind of the point of that video was I think people are competing too often. And the biggest reason why I think that is because they miss out on key opportunities or key time periods in their competition season to really grow some muscle. I talk about this all the time and I got a weird comment recently kind of just asking me why am I so obsessed with hypertrophy? I think this question was off base from a beginner or someone who actually didn't really know what they were talking about, but I'm going to answer that and um, you know, outline why I think muscle hypertrophy is so important, especially for people who are in the first five years of training or powerlifting specific training. There are several different factors that do determine how much a lifter can lift. So they are muscle size, the most important, muscle fiber types, your limb lengths, how long your torso is, your segment lengths, motor learning factors, how good you are at lifting, motivation, arousal, and fatigue, those kind of all go together, and muscle origin and insertion. This list is actually compiled from an article that I found on strongerbyscience.com, uh, written by Greg Knuckles. Uh, he's amazing, and it's a really good article. Check it out, he also links more studies about this specifically. Of all those factors that I listed, most of them are are either something that you can never change or something that's going to be acute, like fatigue and arousal. That's something that you can control on this specific day, but it's not gonna necessarily make you stronger. Overall, a bigger muscle is a stronger muscle, and having more muscle mass in a specific lifter is really just gonna mean they have more potential to get stronger. This is why you see some of the most successful power lifters are completely jacked out of their mind. I, I guess you could say heavy, super heavyweight classes, it's a little bit different. They definitely have more body fat, but they're super heavyweight. They can kind of push the limits of their body weight. Aside from that, and even in some of the smaller weight classes, lifters who maximize the amount of muscle that they can hold on their body while sitting in a certain weight class are typically, not all the time, but typically more successful. I, I reference these people all the time. If you look at Marisa Inda, if you look at Jennifer Thompson, Russell Orhe, Larry Wheels, Kevin Oak, Steffi Cohen, Cece Holcomb, those are all examples of lifters who are really maximizing the amount of muscle mass that they have in a specific weight class to get a higher Wilkes, to stay in a weight class and just win all the time, because that's what those people are doing. And I could, the list goes on in regards to how many lifters fit into this category where they're just jacked out of their mind. If you were to compare a smaller version of you compared to a more jacked version of you, the more jacked version of you is just going to have more potential to lift more weight, um, even though if you don't have um, your, your technique completely figured out, um, if you still have some things to work on, you just have more potential with more muscle. So I don't know if I'm preaching to the choir here. Hopefully you understand this concept, but I kind of want to drive it home because I do find that a lot of lifters are really focused in competing a lot, improving their technique to the point to where they're holding themselves back from training more, or they're trying to get this kind of elite style programming where they're very specific with training when in my opinion they could probably just benefit from growing more muscle and focusing on that rather than focusing on a certain competition rather than focusing on you know improving their specific lift they should just try to get as jacked as possible. The best way to do this is going to be increasing the total amount of volume that you're doing. You can do that in a ton of different ways, but I would just recommend to really focus on periodizing your training so that you do have an off season, so that you have an opportunity to grow muscle. Um, you could do this with a ton of different reasons. Um, I do think that higher rep sets are going to be better for you. You could train in heavy sets 
from one to five and just do more of them or you could train in that eight to 12 range volume overall is going to be just a better option i will say as your intensity raises you may be less motivated to do more exercises so keep that in mind so if the intensity is really high and you're still pushing 85 90 percent with a heavy set of five you may be discouraged and tired and too fatigued to either continue that progression or just like not want to do any more accessories so that's why i recommend to just bring that intensity down keep the reps high sets of 10 is fine for even your barbell movements and yeah just do a lot a ton of work especially for women i find that for most of the women that i work with they do recover from upper body training quite quickly and they can push that volume overall and they can push the amount of exercises that they're doing a lot okay i there's so much to talk about about this so i'm gonna link greg knuckles article down below it's really really great i recommend you all to read it and check out the links of studies that he also provides there any other articles in on his website are just gonna be awesome i am definitely over five minutes so i'm gonna end this here i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give the video a like or subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in the next one last note here you guys if you're looking for a program that is based in hypertrophy uh, but still kind of like a powerlifting program check out my new program on bodybuilding.com it's called uplifted it will be available on june 11th so next week june 11th you can sign up for bodybuilding.com all access and then you'll get immediate access to it whenever it is up on monday yeah now we're definitely over five minutes but i've been working really really hard on this program i went in to boise and hung out with the production team for an entire week and we filmed the initial four workouts so if you were a newbie this is going to be something that's going to be great for you uh, or if you're a powerlifter and you do need some hypertrophy training or interested in powerlifting and you agree with what I said or like what I said and want to get a taste of some high volume training try this it'll kick your ass but in a good way and you probably need it okay I'll be there it's really good I think you're gonna love it uplifted on bodybuilding.com all access I'll link it down below it'll be live on Monday okay <sighs> sorry is this is this eight minute Friday I hope not. <laughs>